What up, y'all? Episode 13. We are fresh off of the first annual NAN Awards. It is the Black Boy Content Club Podcast. You already know what it is. I am one of your three hosts, your resident supervillain, Mr. J. Washington. The fellas do what the fellas do. Hey, what's up, man? It's Moses Prim, Princess Cinema, bro. Check out my uh, my latest videos, the Living Single Review. Um, just one episode, though. I'm going to give y'all a little taste. Word up, word up. <laughs> uh, this is your boy, the Dark and Tech. <laughs> Chris Burns, um, almost forgot my own last name just right now. I'm just excited to be here, man. I'm excited to be here. Yeah. I love recording with y'all every week. And Me too. I'm excited we got a new sponsor. Yo, what yo, Who's you were telling hell? us about a new sponsor we got this week, bro. This shit sounds so dope, man. So yeah, so uh let's see here. Our sponsor is uh niggas whose aunties act like they want to fuck. Uh, <laughs> 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 and of course, uh, yeah, as shout always, out to them niggas, shout man. out to y'all. And of course, we are always sponsored by the National Association for the Advancement of Niggas Absolutely. and Niggas Like You. Uh huh. <laughs> we the worst PBS advertiser. Yeah, is, yeah, I would not let no. Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> and brought to you by Niggas it. Like You. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad we be doing this shit too, man. It's a fun time, bro. We like the living single squad a little. Yeah, bit, a little bit. Have y'all noticed that like no one <laughs> seems like they want to fuck more than your auntie? <laughs> yeah, I think well, yeah, like, I hear she, that. I hear once they get to that age, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? That's, that's what I'm gonna say. It's her prime, prime like in a late mid mid But I mean, like <laughs> specifically to you, like you be around your aunties and they be like, oh, look at my nephew. They be just like so excited. You be like, to yo, see you don't stop touching me. Yeah, like chill out, yo. My mom's oh, she's doing it shit. to you. Okay, okay. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a different story. Jesus Christ. Now, black aunties is thirsty. <laughs> yeah, fuck, yeah. They be, yeah, they be kissing Man, all black aunties and white wives. Go, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just had to say that. Uh, y'all already know how we do it. Let's get into what our week was. Uh, which one of y'all want to go first? Uh, what was I doing this week? I didn't do shit this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, was, was, uh, oh, I got I got my website up and running. Uh, PremsesCinema.com. Get y'all Nan merchandise. Official yeah. Nan hoodies, Nan yeah. t-shirts, all that stuff. As well as your uh, Hood Cinema favorite Black All-Star type of stuff. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's what I was doing this week. I was just kind of getting my paperwork type of shit in order. Just, you know what I mean? Tax time is around the corner, all that shit. Yeah. Um, you pay taxes? Uh, I want to. I, want, I really want to. You know, what I mean? the hesitation in this nigga was like, uh, so I want to. Don't pay their taxes. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't. But <laughs> I'm trying to get that right. What about you, Chris? I'm trying to find a nigga who bought the first Nan shirt and give him a shout out. Oh yeah, shout out to that nigga. Yeah. Yo, can we shout out everybody real quick that been buying Nan shirts and been hitting us up? Shout out to everybody who followed the rule of hit us up on IG. Yeah, and for everybody that's been following us on the gram man like it's much appreciated uh-huh. we are definitely trying to grab those numbers up for sure keep going on that so y'all are definitely a big part of that it's much appreciated i wanted to say that but uh chris what about you why you find out what your week was like man you're trying to find the first nigga that bought the shirts uh mm-hmm. it's like a historical thing for you it really Mo- is man oh uh, okay here it is yo yeah shout out to casper richard who bought the very first nan shirt he was very excited to send send over the uh receipt and screenshot of it being zero 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 one yes uh-huh. but then several of y'all bought nan shirts afterwards so really appreciate that yeah, go to princesscinema.com uh all the merch is there like he said my week was uh what? wait what was the nigga name casper what casper nigga? richard okay niggas yeah. really be named casper though, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 i've casper. met a casper before yeah niggas really be named absolutely casper. absolutely That's crazy leotis cleophis no, I think, casper. I mean, i'm sure it was a regular name to the ghost but it was a black dude the named casper, casper though that's the crazy part you don't know if he black yeah, yeah, I don't know what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this is be, true. This is like true. Could, oh, yeah, he could be trying to be ironic or whatever. Yeah, yeah, he could be yeah. like a white I mean, supremacist. He gonna, he gonna fuck around no, and find no, out. No, shout ironic out to you, like Casper. Thank you. Shouts out Die Hard with a Vengeance. <laughs> I keep telling everybody, watch that movie. Uh, you know, uh, my week was chill. Like I said, uh, a lot of work. Um, I got to start traveling again next week. So I guess I'm excited about that. I'm going to spend a little time in Miami, spend a lot, little time in Atlanta. So, you know, just getting shit together, man. Just bossing the fuck up. That's yeah, what's man. up, bro. Mm-hmm. Like for me, it was another busy week, you yeah. know, and that's busy is good. Uh, a lot of different shows, a lot of different opportunities. Uh, got to work out with the fellas on Thursday or Friday. It was mm-hmm. me, a homeboy's Mateen, Mateen who helps, who hosts Late for Work with You, a yeah. homeboy Martin Morrow, and uh, the homie Jason K. We was all at the gym together, and uh, 
It was just, you know, good it just was having erotic, a erotic, huh? spot each other and shit. <laughs> and that was that was absolutely no spotty. There was nobody on the bench like, hey, get on, stand over me, <laughs> damn it, teabag me while I pick up this pipe. <laughs> nope, it wasn't nothing. I mean, that's important. You need a spotter when you, you need lift. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know not, but that was cool. I mean, like, <laughs> erotic also, is by choice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you made a goddamn erotic fan fiction thing. It was like, yeah, so uh, these niggas was in the gym together talking about some bonding. And uh, but should we do that? Should we do erotic fan fiction of hood shit? Oh, oh man, like, yeah. <laughs> like boys in the hood. But oh, it's just uh, hell is sus. Oh yeah, like Jody, it's, uh, uh, Brandy. Fucking, Brandy really didn't want to fuck Jody Trey. Fuck she was like trying to fuck. Man. She was trying to fuck Ricky, even though Ricky had a girl or some shit. Let's do some side. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, 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 it's furious with Doughboy Mama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she actually yeah. go tell yeah. your mama I said yeah, your daddy I said hi. That yeah, really yeah, happens. Yeah. Okay, she came over for cards, but it was just this nigga. Uh huh. <laughs> That he ends up mentoring Doughboy and there you then go. turn Doughboy and, life around. And so then Furious is fucking that's Doughboy mama while he got them balls in his hand. Yeah, still. He just <laughs> <did right. laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that nigga was mean as fuck, bro. Was yeah, he was an asshole. asshole. Well, well, I, yeah, I think he was just a damaged yeah. Because that's know, what every black dad you know. was supposed to be in the 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Furious Styles was the averse of a Carl Winslow on TV and a more extreme Uncle Phil. Because Uncle St- Uncle Phil had the moments <laughs> where he would come down on Will. He never came down on Carl. Right, right, right. Well, but- Fury, yeah, Furious was a different beast, though, because he was like, he made him clean up his house and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, right, his right, house right, was right. already fucked up. Like, just, you wasn't cleaning up, nigga. You Why you trying to shit? Shit? Make clean, clean up like, shit, Get this shit over the corner. First of all, Furious Styles... Uh, rap name that somehow <laughs> has gone unused. <laughs> Furious Styles. Years. Years. You know, I ain't think about that shit. Nobody would have named Furious been. Styles. Uh, and then secondly, no, 100%. I always think about the like uh, haircut scene where the nigga just asks his dad, like, yo, can you, you know, fade me up in a little bit? It's here in the side. And he's just like, I'm eating. It's like, nigga, obviously, <laughs> right now, but shit, I get, you can give me afterwards. Yeah, I always get that. I always get the movie mixed up with Don't Be a Menace and shit. Oh, like, whenever yeah, I try yeah, to think yeah. about <laughs> Boys in the Hood, Don't Be a Menace, yeah, some yeah, scenes yeah. will get mixed it all up in there. Together. So. Yeah, they still together. Yeah, your daddy just can fade you up real good. Like, most niggas don't want their pops to touch their hair or their mama's like, yo, I need to go to a shop. Yo. And then Trey was just com- comfortably like, yo, pops, can you go on here and line my shit up Bro, and hook me up? My grandfather used to try to fade me up. You want to talk about, like, Neck pain, bro. No, I, no, 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 but from like looking down for like two hours, and they're like look oh, down, look down, look oh, down. No. It's like, what else can you do to your head? Yeah, bro. What you doing back there, bro? Yeah, my dad would cut my shit. He would fuck my line up and shit. Oh most, yeah, yeah, mostly yeah. Every They time cannot. They can't. Every time. They can't like, do it in a straight line. They just can't let do me it. be fucked up. I don't right, right. Care. <laughs> well, I'm gonna make this sad. My dad died when I was five, so he would do shit to my head. So is that why you lost your hair? Fuck you, nigga. Oh, hey, that's funny. <laughs> I just had a discussion with somebody about this shit yesterday. So, you know, it's growing a little. I have a shave. Yeah. So I went, I decided to shave my head the day of my high school graduation. Okay. I waited all the way to the day of my fucking graduation to realize, oh shit, I ain't have a haircut. Yeah, you are? Right? You paranoid, bro? Oh, okay. yeah. You, yo, that look is not a good thing. Start looking around. Yeah, dog. That's shit. Do you all black over here. Don't be looking around. I ain't going to stop real quick and look at you. When you see a black dude, just like, just turn the jerky. Like, hey, you're like, what the fuck? You're right. False alarm, yo. False alarm. Almost got up. <laughs> Nigga was through this, uh, let's move this yeah, last shit. out the way. <laughs> but um, the day of my high school graduation, I ain't have a haircut, and I was like, "Fuck." So I just was like, you know what? I went in the bathroom and just, you know, took my clippers. Niggas graduation, you just wear the hat, all right? Yeah, but I just did you know, but niggas, I, I just was like, fuck it. So I just took the clippers and then I just grabbed the shaving cream I had and I just shaved my head. Yeah. And so as the summer went around, because again, in Chicago. You shaved it all bald? Yeah, I shaved like it bald. With the blade? With the blade and everything. First time, that was the worst decision ever, nigga, because I had, <laughs> my, when I put the towel on my head and oh, water, it looked like a used maxi pad, uh, nigga. Yeah. I was right, because it was them old, them big yellow razors, the one that ain't got no yeah. beard to oh, it, nigga. Hell no, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> you, season, you, like, you start peeling up layers of skin <laughs> and shit. But as the summer, because everybody knows Chicago summers get hot and humid. Bro. This was bet it was better being bald than having hair just like all this shit sweaty. Right, right. So after a while, I just kept it. And then some for a while, niggas was just like, oh, this nigga went bald when he was young, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. Fast forward to like two years ago, our homeboy Mateen. Yeah. One day we was at his crib. I think we was having one of the parties, and I was at it was the summer, and I took my hat off and I hadn't shaved. And I had a full fucking head of hair. Uh. My team was like, 
You can grow your hair. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that nigga got mad. That's for I context, did. for context, Mateen is bald as yeah, shit. He is bald, bald as, as shit yeah. as a grown man. Yeah. So yeah, so that was the thing. That's the reason I started shaving. But uh, nonetheless, Hustlers. when when you start growing your shit out, Prim? I think I was like eighteen when I started growing my shit out. What but yeah, you I grow? always yeah, I always cut them shit. Uh, just the, the easy maintenance and shit, you know what I mean? Because I had hair for a while, and I would always like be getting it braided, and that shit was fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. painful yeah. and <laughs> inconvenient. Yeah, yeah, right, shit, right, right. You know itchy I mean? and shit. Yeah, I had like a, a, a Cat Williams perm oh, and shit nigga. for a little bit. Well, you know? I need All pictures right. of this shit. Now. Yeah, I can't find no pictures. No, I, you I, full I of shit. You full of shit. Full nah, of shit. I was fourteen. Yeah, I had a little. Oh, cat, nigga, I had we gonna have to find your mama, daddy. Somebody got this pictures, nigga. You know oh, what I'm saying? Bare face. So I looked ridiculous. Yeah, we need but... a baby Moses print photo, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> yeah, I, niggas wasn't taking pictures back then. Like that, <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. Mean? But, yeah. Is that a camera, nigga? Is that a camera? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, yeah, I fucking yeah, I went through a lot of phases with my hair and shit. Then right. I was like, let me just lock the shit up. That's fucking. Plus, Lil Wayne was you know yeah, yeah, on yeah, this yeah. shit back then. So I was like, all right, yeah, that's a good idea, Lil Wayne. I thought you smoke a hell of weed and shit too. That's right. Yeah, just fucking just make sense, hair, bro. This nigga yeah. hair grow off marijuana. Man. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga got so much new growth from rolling new blows. Totally. I think I'm gonna go short on when I when I turn forty. Nigga, you don't know what you want to do with your hair one I, minute. Yeah, I just be doing shit. Because I'm like, I, it's just fucking hair. You know yeah. what I mean? I, don't I mean, that's, like, that's yeah. you know, I, I think you're taking it for granted and shit. You know what I mean? Well, a no, lot I, of niggas be going bald, bro. I know. Shout out to And look, you can end up looking like Martin. I love that nigga. But Martin, Martin's haircut looks like, uh, this is a studious nigga that loves yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. but uh, white friends and yeah, Sesame um, Street. Uh-huh. No, yeah. He's going to say some shit in the text message to us after this come out. I know it. Oh. Yeah, no, I started growing my shit just because I still could. Yeah, I was just like, I hit yeah, right. mm-hmm. past 35. I was like, if I was going to start losing it, it would like, be... Still yeah, yeah, right. I w- it would have started already. So I was just like, fuck it. I'm going to just let it grow, yeah, that's see what happens up. with it. And now i just be having fun with it. Yeah, you shit. should dye your shit or something nah, like Chris Brown and shit. shit. Yeah. <laughs> so we talking about three niggas. Leopard print, get some leopard print of hair. Millennial. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Brown be out here just going through shit. Just, that nigga wake up one morning and be on Instagram. Nigga got tiger stripes in his head. He's like, fuck is going... But that's what happens when you got money. Yeah. I yeah, nobody work. can't tell you shit. Yeah. Right. Tell you I shit. gotta work on Mondays. I can't be. <laughs> sure. yeah, right. like they they're not gonna take you seriously. <laughs> can't, but that's a good question though, because again, we in Los Angeles, right? Yeah, yeah. And this is the land of motherfuckers being creative and being who they want to be and how they want to look. Yeah. What you do, it would it be frowned upon? Because yeah, you work in a corporate esque environment. Yeah. But on the level in which you were, like, when they see somebody with, like, let's say you had blonde hair, and they just be like. Well, Burns going through some shit. Somebody must have broke his heart. Like, this, this nigga's hurt. Well, yeah, I'm sure they would. Yeah, I'm sure they would. You know, they yeah. would let you let it slide. Probably, yeah, but they like, probably wouldn't say but that nothing. would limit your career and shit. Like yeah, there'd be certain people you can't approach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there'd be real. certain people that I don't want to see that shit. With no yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> have looking yeah. like one of the Golden Lords off a of fucking meteor man. <laughs> they like the Junior Lords, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> baby Lords. Hilarious. Let me ask this quick question, real quick, before we talk about our first subject. Yeah, yeah. With women and hairstyles, do you have a particular type you like, or is it cool with anything? Because me personally, I'm like, yo, as long as it fits your fucking head, it's good. Well, yeah, that's what I see. Yeah, there's no universal hairstyle that works or don't yeah. work. Because you know, some dudes are like, oh, I don't want a chick that's bald. See, I've seen a lot of dudes go that way now. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Because I saw one dude on Instagram go, oh, chick look like a man if she bald. I was like, nigga, no. I'm glad you brought this up, bro, because I get ridiculed a lot. Because I like short hair, bro. I like it. Yeah. I don't, I'm not discriminating against long hair women, you know what I'm saying? Either way, you know, fucking. But, uh, <laughs> like, could be a lesbian, perhaps. Oh, you like the little pixie cut. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, low key, yeah, low key. I do fuck with, like, the little, uh, the manager. I want to speak to the manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's what I fuck with, y'all. Because, <laughs> you know, I don't know. It just, it denotes uh, an anger. Yeah, it's almost <laughs> yeah, it's have, almost an angsty. And they're gonna I mean? they yeah. gonna they gonna take it out on you in the appropriate places. I like a woman with a uh, she leaves a Yelp review haircut. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. She leaves a little swoop and little shit. Swoop. Yeah. I think for me, like you said, it, it just got a Kate plus eight haircut. <laughs> no, we got a Kate plus eight. Yeah, you know, looking for mom out here with this real housewives <laughs> of Salt Lake City hairdo. Uh, I just think for me personally, like you said, it don't matter. I short is cute on certain heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. about. Big caveat. It don't work for everybody. <laughs> goddamn. Just it. like bald don't work on everybody, no matter whether you're right. losing it or not. Yeah. Dreads don't work on everybody. 100%. You know what I'm saying? So I always wondered that because 
you know, we all we know the truth it, that it's like women don't make their hairstyles for us, of right. course. But it's always a pre everybody has preferences. Right. Some people don't fuck with short hair. Some people don't fuck with long hair. Some people don't fuck with dreads. I look at white women with dreads weird. I'm like, how did you manage <laughs> yeah. to get that shit to stay together? Like your shit keeps coming through the wax. But I was just wondering that question because we were talking about hair. Well, speaking and shit. of heads, uh, uh, rest in peace to Lance Reddick. He was murdered by Moses Brand. <laughs> Bro, I told y'all y'all should have gave him the murdered. award. Uh, nah, that was y'all. Y'all didn't give him the damn oh, award. Oh, that was y'all niggas, man. Oh, Broke his heart. No. No, real shit. Recipes, let's not, you know. We came, let's not go too far. We, yeah, let's definitely not go too far. <laughs> I, you know, I just, he, I, for anyone who missed last week's episode, <laughs> we gave out the first ever uh, Nan Awards and one of the nominees <laughs> Uh, brought to us by our very own Moses Prim. Was, why you keep making it? Why you keep <laughs> telling you everybody how fucking Moses shit up? Did it, nigga. <laughs> if I kill somebody, I would say I would own up to it. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> it's, 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 it was a group effort, you know what I mean? Oh, was, we didn't, okay, yeah, Jay I okay. and I didn't know I what you was coming with. Understand. And this thing came with the Skinny Head Nigga Awards. <laughs> and one of the nominees was Lance Reddick. What the first <laughs> And ah! it was like, oh, oh shit! Mm. It was literally to everybody that just jumped and be hollering. Ain't this big in our hands? I'm sorry, y'all. I mean, look, I'm a good, I'm good at segues, and so uh, it was literally like two, three days later after we dropped the, the episode. Yeah, really crazy, this nigga man. passed away. <laughs> And in the group chat, I was just like sent the story like, damn, pretty yeah, killed crazy, like, man. Aesthetic, man. I, yeah, I'm sorry, Lance. Ooh. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But Ooh. I mean, it's you know, I, I always did appreciate him as an actor. Or I did too. Like, you know, he 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 was a standout actor to Absolutely. me. Absolutely. It's good to give him his flowers or whatever. Oh, we, we, I, we gave we him his did. flowers. We, were the we, last the time his flowers. So, we yeah. gave him his flowers. One hundred percent. All jokes aside, by the way, I saw somebody come in Prim's comments. Some chick came in Prim comments on IG, <laughs> mad at the name. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh. Well, and so but we gave yeah, the man his flowers, that's but right. still, nigga, your transition. Speaking of skinny, like <laughs> skinny speaking head of niggas heads. need love too, Ooh. and also we can speak reality out here, bro. Uh, his death, I don't think, had anything to do with his skinny head. Nah, I it just. <laughs> well, let's not be too hasty. We don't know. Yeah, that's true. We don't early. know. I'm out. I'm <laughs> out. <laughs> you know. It could have been any, any double. Are there health related Ooh. things to consider when you a skinny head, nigga? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing so, bro. Other than just peripheral vision. Like brain fluid <laughs> buildup type of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said nigga see through a fish at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You like a horse, you can only see <laughs> the sides. <laughs> the sides and shit. That's crazy. Stop That's it. hilarious. Well, you know how we thought the Nan Awards was getting us nah, canceled. Right. No, 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 no. We all love we love yeah, Lance Reddick. Love. You know we what I'm saying? Yeah. And he's from Baltimore too. He's from my hometown and shit. And oh, I, you shit, know, yeah. I've been following him since the wire and right shit. On, like, right I've, on. Been, I've seen his career blossom and shit. And I was always proud of this nigga. And yeah, right. he's very good look to have, you know, skinny head and all. And right. Shit, and he know. was bald. He was a member of the bald yes, community. He was bald yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh I remember when he started out in Oz. Yeah, yeah, oh, he yeah. Was on I, Oz. Yeah, I he remember was from Oz. Oz. I interviewed him for Farzar, the cartoon he did on Netflix. Nice. So that's I, I told I gave him his flowers on that. Yeah. You know about look, I followed your career since Oz, bro. Right. So like it was you know a pleasure to be talking to you, and Facts. you know he's just about to be in John Wick Four. Yeah. He's got a couple other joints on the horizon. Um, sixty or sixty two, I don't know. It's been a toss up exactly what the age is. Do you think that he got in the movie so that he could be in widescreen? All right, with the skinny head. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Uh, what else we got? Speaking <laughs> of awards. Uh, speaking of awards. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. Mm, mm, there you go. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> no, RIP. Yeah. Yeah, RIP. RIP. Right. 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 I mean, season. he knows what it is. He a, yeah, he a nigga. I love you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like you know. I was a big fringe fan. Yeah, like black yes. people roast each other. He knows all. He knows all love. All love he knows it's all right. love. Yeah. But uh, speaking of awards, we were, when we recorded last week, we were recording because the Academy Awards were happening that day. Yes. And we did a hot second talking about it, but then we were like, we really need to give fuck but one of the big things especially for us to talk about yep. was the possibility of angela bassett finally getting her award her fine ass the month to be 66 fuck she, to be 66 to be just, what she just a bad she's no, that's what i'm Jesus saying Christ. this this shows that we black don't crack y'all yeah 
Especially when you take care of yourself. Especially when you're you rich as shit. Right, 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 right. <laughs> she drink dope. She's a diehard vegan. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, like I she mean, drinks kale tea. I remember well, that. I will never forget that. But speaking of which, she was supposed to. She was nominated for best supporting actress for her role in Wakanda Forever. Right. And people thought this was the performance that were finally going to give it to her. And she was up against Jamie Lee Curtis, Stephanie Su- uh, Sue, both from uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once. And please forgive me, I do not remember the other two nominees. But when it was announced, Jamie Lee Curtis won. Mm. Okay. And for what? The, what was she in? Oh, everything, everything everywhere okay, all at once. And the internet did what it was supposed to do, be pissed. But it was pissed because Angela lost. But then people tried to come at Angela because of her response. Because remember, you see all five nominees on screen. Yeah. yeah. So whenever, you know, whoever's announced, you see what everybody's reaction. Mm-hmm. Angela was hurt. And, you know, salt, salty. And then some people are like, damn, she is so a loser. She can't be like that. I wanted to address how did y'all feel both seeing that and hearing about well, it. Well, I didn't see it. You didn't see it online? I didn't hear about it. But I we don't. We see this thing I mean, but, you know, I think the quality of the movie has a lot to do with it. Do y'all think Black Panther 2 was Oscar worthy? I mean. I mean, her performance was great. Yeah, she was yeah, definitely in that I, bitch I think that- acting her ass off. But, like. Yeah, I think people were expecting the makeup win. Okay. Has Jamie Lee Curtis won before? No, that was the thing too. This was her first win. Okay, so it was like, I think, but I think people were being like, just the weight of it all of like Chadwick Boseman passing yeah. away and that Black Panther being such a cultural sort of. So yeah, it was an important movie. It's whatever. important, and so it was just, kind of, and then also her, spoilers: her character Pat dies in the movie. Right. It was just kind of like, okay, let's give it to her after all this time. Um, the same way they did Holly Berry, Monsters Ball, you know, it was well, not the best performance in the world, right. but you know, they <clears throat> gave it to her just because Holly had been so influential, you know what I mean, as a black actress for so long. They do that for a lot of a lot of times, you know what I mean, right. for people. But so I think people were expecting that. So I think we're being the audience is being a victim of their expectations, kind of. And as far as Angela's reaction to it she's a human being. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. Like if she's, I, why, why do we celebrate fakeness? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you're supposed to be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the, this I, mean, is the I, think, I mean, I think it's like a little bit of sportsmanship. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, but yeah, if you're, you know, if you're upset, this you, is the same yeah, audience that watched Will Smith smack the shit out of Chris <laughs> and Rock and him a, a standing ovation <laughs> for his fucking win, you know, at the same night. It's, and then you acting like, oh, he, he ain't supposed to like, Fuck all that. Fuck all that. Feel yeah. how you feel, Angela. Yeah, definitely. Be who definitely. you is. But yeah, I do think though, if <clears throat> And call me. I think <laughs> I think <laughs> if the quality of Black Panther 2 was better, she would have had a better shot. Mm. But yeah, I don't yeah, I think Black Panther 2 was kind of doo doo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. So I do. go ahead, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I just don't think yeah, I think they I think the Disney Marvel hype train let her down and shit. Like yeah. that was they were really supposed to come with this fucking fire with Black Panther 2. And they yeah. just that shit was kind of just mid. I so on one hand, I did say this on Twitter. I felt like the Academy can't get past a superhero movie. Right. And for everybody that's about to come in the comments and shit going, well, Heath Ledger won for the Dark Knight. He won because he died. Let's just be real. Then people going, well, Joaquin Phoenix were for the Joker. No, he won because he's playing. I don't know if that's necessarily true. We got to have to look at the other nominees for that year or whatever. All right, we yeah. pull it up. Yeah. But um, Joaquin Phoenix won for the Joker. And I'm like, yo, y'all do realize that movie without calling it Joker and setting Gotham City is not a Joker movie. Let's just be honest. You don't need to have Thomas Wayne, but that's another story. My prob- My biggest issue has been people saying it's a lifetime achievement award, basically for Jamie Lee Curtis because of her body of work. Because the problem with that statement is the same can apply to Angela Bassett. Right. Yeah. Do they have a lifetime achievement category? They in give the them later on in life. Right. You know, like they, they should do just, Yeah. They should just be giving them motherfuckers. Out exactly. The next thing is and Jamie Lee Curtis is not the best supporting actress in her movie. Yeah. It's Stephanie, true. Stephanie Sue who plays the daughter. Yeah. And yeah. the villain, the main villain through the movie. Sure. It's her. That's why I even said that too. I'm like, yo, if she would have won, I wouldn't have been upset. Yeah. Well, also, Jamie Lee Curtis is like somebody's kid, right? Yeah, That's Tony Curtis and, and uh, yeah, Janet so, Lee. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure she probably, somebody finessed that shit, to, you know what I mean? Just, Which has been that whole conversation so, and Nepo yeah. babies and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know. That's definitely a thing. Yeah. So yeah, I see why she was hurt or whatever. Because yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis, yeah, you're right. She was not 
she was not even like a real cast member of that movie. She was just like a random boss fight, a low key. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think. Well, people, I, I think, are probably judging it off of the like they sold a romance without really talking with sausage fingers. You know what I mean? Like that's that's some that's impressive good. acting yeah, work, right. but. <laughs> I mean, it's, I think it's kind of a toss up. It's like, yeah, both of them are deserving for lifetime achievement awards. Yeah. So you got to give it to somebody. Are we super surprised they gave it to the white lady? You know what I mean? <laughs> that wasn't in the superhero movie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just, uh, also, we put too much weight on these awards. As yeah, it again, is. yeah, I was always, yeah, that's, we we talk about this a lot. Yeah, this yeah, shit is just fuck fucking, the Oscars. Yeah, that's I just mean, janky <laughs> anyway, bro. But like, if you're in the industry, the yeah, 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 yeah. If you're in the industry as an actor or per, as a agent or rep a manager that award warrants your client more more bread sure but that's the, the biggest thing but that's yeah. the biggest thing i'll say more than anything right. it, it gives your client more bread but you think it's gonna affect jamie lee and angela that Absolutely. pay is gonna be the pay yeah what it they, is, is what it is you know what i mean they yeah. established at this point they All got right. tenure let's move on yo you had an idea prim of uh, some shit to talk about oh yeah so fire ass commercial jingles um <laughs> the uh the empire the carpet five eight eight yeah. two oh, that's three what, yeah you, you ever, yeah, you ever seen that one yo that was my little brother's yeah. his first words and shit was, we get the fuck out empire, that's so, hilarious yeah i remember that shit that's just, so that's a fire ass that's an iconic ass jingle I'm fuck let, with me that. See, let me pull it i mean look i love the i love the recent trend of like hiring people these ad agencies like hiring black people to like for sort of doctor they ads to appeal oh, yeah. to us and shit yeah. like the whole McDonald's, i mean that's always been a thing i'm yeah. loving this shit yeah and then shit. uh the fucking arby's that all of a sudden starts bumping your trunk like uh-huh, fucking, yeah, we the have fucking the meat bump, 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 bump. Bump. Yeah, it's like damn nigga that shit knocks sprite cranberry or whatever yeah. they like break dancing yeah, 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 and drink yeah. the sprite cranberries and <laughs> drum big baby drums like has no, how has no one sampled the arby's drums yet like that shit <laughs> that shit nah that's the, that's the <laughs> you know what's fucked up is you mentioned it and now within like a month and a half <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you're gonna be like yo I heard them drums somewhere Somebody, before nah, I'm telling you that could uh that could definitely yeah that shit crank Bro, that yeah, definitely yeah. could be. Um, so I'm looking at a list of shit while y'all doing. I yeah. got the top ten of all time. Okay. So number ten. Yes. I am stuck on band aid because band aid stuck on me. Wow. Nah, that's not. That's, yeah. the, that, that's considered yeah, num- <laughs> number nine. Plop plop fizz fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. Alka Seltzer. Damn. I okay. Even, you don't, yeah, I, I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I've, I, I've I've heard that like reference in like pop culture. I've never seen an actual Alka yeah. Seltzer commercial. And I watch hella TV. We used to at least. Number eight, I'm a big kid now. Okay, that's a banger. Huggies. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mommy, mm-hmm. wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I really feel like after we do this episode, it's going to be a lot of oh, the fucking Meow Mix, Meow Mix, Shout out Meow Mix. Meow, yeah. Meow, Meow, yeah, Meow, 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 Slap Just add some fucking snare yeah, yeah. drums to that Bro, shit. Said, that shit's fire. Meow, Meow, Meow. Hey, 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 nigga, I'm going to write that in my list of ideas. I'm going to that shit. Number seven, the magically delicious the Lucky Charms. Of course, of course. Numbers. This is like a tagline, but I'm talking about jingles. <laughs> but most Y'all, of them are. Most of them are. Song. Like, that's yeah, the same. Yeah, it's like, bye, mid. It's just, yeah, that's why I'm so great. That's it's, the same you know, thing as nah, five, eight, eight, eight two, guess, three. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's pretty yeah. much the same thing. Because, yeah. like, <laughs> even a jingle is, even though it doesn't have a song, it's now the Old Spice thing. Do, 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 do. The oh, sound yeah. at the end of it. Yeah, that's true. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that counts. Did Push T write a jingle? He did a McDonald's joint. Okay, yeah, yeah. The ba da ba 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 That's what I was thinking of when I was trying to say I'm loving it, yeah. Which is number one, by the way. Banger. Uh, Mary J. Blige on the counter doing Burger King, <laughs> which was weird as shit. Where Mitch nobody to, eats at. So, oh, Lord, here we go again. No, I'm just going to stop nope. playing with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody fucking eats a Burger King. Bro. Um, number six is Like a Good Neighbor. Stay Stay okay, that's, yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah. that's fire. That's fire. That's going to be there. Oh, wait. I, I know the banger. Go ahead, though. Number five <laughs> is your Empire joint, the 800. Hey, it literally is in the list. Number five. Yeah, yeah. So you see how, you know, when you're saying jingles and shit, mm-hmm. number four. Five dollar foot long, which used Ooh, to go that, hard. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Used to go yeah. hard. Hell yeah. Pause. That shit was pa- yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, everybody watching at home. Uh number number three number three, excuse me. Uh <laughs> this is for the old heads watching. I wish I was an Oscar Mayer Wiener. Oh fuck. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oscar it was Meyer. one of the best of all times. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Number two, take a guess what number two is. Cause we know what number one is, I'm loving it. Okay. What number two? Take a guess on number Bologna? two. Baloney? 
Nah. Oh, no, fuck. that was this um, shit. Hot Pockets. Nah. Ooh, that's a good guess. Mm-hmm. Hot Pockets is a good one, but it's not. Kit Kat, give me a break. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. That one was give fire. me a break. Oh, how was Mentos not on there, bro? Mentos oh, yeah, had yeah. a whole oh, fucking Mentos had a motherfucking commercial. Yeah, they had a whole ass <laughs> It was a song, music bro. video, nigga. It was a ballad <laughs> about that shit. Speaking of ballads, the one that I was thinking of is a modern <laughs> classic. That I mean, niggas be harmonizing on this bitch. Nationwide what? is on your side. That's that nigga, nigga when they be crying, bro. Niggas be out here. They give, you know yeah, what I'm saying? They, yeah, they have a whole uh, song leading up to it. And I'm like, what is this? <laughs> right, right, right. Like, like, why am I sad? They're on my side right now, bro. <laughs> right now. They really love me, huh? Okay, so to go along the line of what you're saying, Prem. I found the ones that are exactly the jingliest. Jingles. Mm-hmm. Jingles, right. jingles, pause. So, <laughs> <laughs> the jingling baby. Go ahead, JG. Yeah, baby. All right. It's a whole, it's a fucking list of these bitches. All right, I'm going to go from number 20. Uh, liberty, 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 liberty. Yeah, that's your one. No, no. It's not. <clears throat> oh, what's the JG Wentworth? Call JG G. Wentworth. 877 Cash Now. That shit yeah, is yeah, fucking yeah. plain. Yeah, that's <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, the Clapper. Clap on. Okay. <laughs> Clap on. Him. Fucking, come on, sample them kicks, bro. Yeah, right. Uh, why, don't, why didn't that catch on, bro? Clapping lights, or I don't have you clap- could Because you can't. Here's the problem. If you <laughs> fucking just, good. If you clapping randomly or something. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because remember, if you in the crib, somebody said 88 compliant. Our producer said 88 compliant. Because yeah. here's the problem. Like, if you clapping, right, yeah. to turn shit off in the bedroom, and let's say you smacking yeah, shit. You smack that ass and shit. You smack that ass and strobe light. You have a Caesar or something. <laughs> and now the clapper like yeah, fuck you I'm not doing all that because we all done been in a situation where we said Alexis or some shit like that and Alexis yeah, like, oh, yeah. did so you mean going off like, randomly. I'm like yeah, yeah, but I'm not talking to you uh-huh. uh, Ace is the place with the helpful hard oh yeah folks. <laughs> hella rappers use that shit yeah Ace <laughs> really yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah they've said that in songs alright everybody's <laughs> gonna list these ones because I know they're probably yelling them in the comments uh, what would you do for a Klondike bar yeah 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 how okay. do we get them right. yeah no. Wait, no, I was thinking, okay, Klondike bars are good. I was thinking of, <laughs> what's the other? York Peppermint Patty. Weak. I get them Horrible. I get them confused. Did York have a song? I don't think I don't it had think a song, so. but that you, was... You bite just, into yeah. it. It's just nasty, You get yeah. some sort of sensation. Right, right, That right. you're yeah. fucking dying in a, yeah. play, <laughs> a hospital, minty fucking accident. Sticky, <laughs> you were really aggressive about these York Peppermint Patties. <laughs> yeah, they're trash. Uh, the Army. Be all, all that, that you can, can be. be. All right, yeah, that all right. was, yeah, that was a banger. I'm trying to enlist. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> The best part of waking Folgers, up. Folgers, all right, yeah. Folgers in you. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's, okay. that's iconic, bro. Yeah. Okay, we did I'm a Big Kid now. We did that one. Oh, how did we not do this one? I want my baby, 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 baby. I thought baby, about okay, that the earlier. Baby back ribs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. Chili's. Chili's I don't know. I don't like ribs. that, actually. I don't like these niggas soul singing <laughs> about ribs and shit. Like- over a fucking trash can fire or whatever. I don't remember the commercial. Niggas like, you can't fire. Fire. <laughs> Live it. It was in the kitchen. Oh, it was I don't remember. I, don't I mean, look, that's not the worst, like, said black people back. <laughs> uh, oh, there was y'all probably don't know the shit? Kool-Aid fucking song. Excuse me, what? I make Kool Aid for my family. Oh yes, I remember that. I remember that. I I make picture after picture. I remember that. Okay, it was the most slavery sounding song. (laughs) (laughs) It was horrible. We that I hope that never resurfaces. Honestly, all right. This is a basic, simple one. Chia, chia, chia. Okay, yeah, chia pet. Okay, superb. All right, if you want some sensual shit, every kiss begins with K. Yeah. You know what? I didn't get that for a long time. I didn't realize. <laughs> I just was like, because the name of the store is K. So I'm like, Correct. if you go there, you get a kiss. I didn't realize it was like, Nigga, what? they meant like the letter K what? or whatever. I'm like, that's Hilarious. so clever, bro. I, this was like a year ago I found it. I'm like, that's clever as fuck. Bro. <laughs> Wait, did you literally say yeah, a I didn't, year? Yeah, I didn't even think about it really, bro. Wait, wait, what's the story that's like, you're gonna like the way we look. I guarantee. Oh, it. men's warehouse. Yeah. Okay. okay. That. That's fuck- not a jingle. That's no, just no, a it's not. It's not. But that <laughs> fucked me up the same way. Just like you didn't know, "Kiss Began with K" was referencing the title. Uh, what is it? What is men's it? Men's warehouse. Men's warehouse. Men's warehouse is spelled W E A R. 
Yes. So w- like where how like where shit. Oh, it is. I'm not like W A R E, and that fucked me up for a long That's time. That's pretty funny. When yeah. I finally like saw it, definitely it. is, bro. It's like oh shit, it's been warehouse this whole time. Like where the house? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Niggas, niggas were like, it's not warehouse, it's warehouse. Yeah, I wore my girlfriend out at the time. Like when I was like, when I saw it. It's just like I was obsessed with the notion. Yeah, that's crazy. for the next three days. I was like, God damn. That's good, man. That's I'm not observing, bro. <laughs> All right, y'all ready for the next one? Yeah, this this some good How shit. How many more I'm, we got? What's up? Because uh, the list was twenty of that one, but we've done some of them already in the ones yeah, we just yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm ahead. skipping Speed those. Round. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to grow up. Toys R Us. Toys, toys yeah. R Us kid. Yeah, true. Or, There's a million toys at Toys R Us that I can play with. <laughs> do, 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 from bikes to trains we'll to it. video <laughs> games. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 damn yeah, right. Shit. Yeah, I don't think we. Yeah, we got the short version. <laughs> no, it, it, yeah, they did cut it down a lot because it used to be a whole long thing. Uh, we did camp. Did we? No, Campbell Soup. Mm-mm, good. We did give me a break of Kit Kat bar. We did. That's stay. not mm-mm, good. That's not. Do they sing that? That's not the a Campbell thing. soup. They do. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. Uh, Red yeah, Robin. The older ones, nigga eating soup, right? right. You know, the older <laughs> ones did. I think like the little family type commercials and shit. What they would do, and not just a basic soup. I don't I guess. That shit. Mm-hmm, good. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we did stay Farm. Okay, this one is a little. Uh oh, Spaghettios. Okay, that's Spaghettios one. Spaghettios trash though, so yeah. they don't, <laughs> don't care about their damn jingle. We did uh, the magic we'll food delicious. It, yeah, yeah. Put some sugar in it. We did that already. We did that one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this I don't know how this has a jingle. Snap, crackle, pop, rice krispies. What I the fuck? Was that just probably tag had like a rap song or something? I, I, it might have. When it first came out, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows, bro? And we did number two and number one. Number two is ba da ba ba ba, and number one is the one you brought. Nationwide up. is on oh, your yes, side. I, yep, number one gangster. is gangster. Most gangster. All right, so that, that's the, those are the catchiest jingles. Let me see what else we had <clears> on our fucking list of shit to talk about. Because the jingle thing was crazy. Because okay, this one is wild. <laughs> Prim, you ain't shit for this one. Is this did, was this you Prim, that said this, oh, this one or was he uh fucking one of y'all? No, this was probably Prim. Yeah, Prim's this was a murderer, you. so he was probably no, Prim, Prim. Prim. Said Prim said. <laughs> Best white rapper minus Eminem. Uh, that's hilarious. That's not, yeah, There's, yeah, we got a small, small swim pickings and shit. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> oh, um, that's funny. Uh, Macklemore. No, oh, nigga. Don't do that. <laughs> no, nigga. Lack of slaps. <laughs> yeah, I've never. No, you know when Thrift Shop first came out, I was like, that's kind of funny. That's kind of cute or whatever. Like, <laughs> that's what you want to say about rappers. <laughs> I guess. I'm you just can't logic like now because we found like, out he's half black after his run in with Joe Budden. Logic? I mean, we always, I always no, knew he was half black. I he kind don't of count, agree though. with Joe Budden on that shit. Like, <laughs> nigga, don't ever rap anymore. Just stop. <laughs> yeah, I hate logic, but I think he, uh, <laughs> I, the, he has like a whole fan base or whatever. He really yes, does. He, does. he really yeah, does. It's like, nerd, do. it's like nerd rap or whatever. Like if you, you know Listen, what I'm saying? Like, if anytime that white people appropriate our shit, they get fans. <laughs> Elvis of was course, the king yeah, of rock and roll. Yeah. Did not invent the shit. You know what I mean? Stole hella shit. The Rolling Stones, their name is after a Muddy Waters lyric. Well, yeah, because it's so it's hell of hell of white people in this country. So yeah, yeah, like, yeah. they'll like the sound or whatever. But yeah. as soon as a, they have a, like a white avatar doing it, they're like, oh, I really fuck with this exactly. shit now. Like, this this really some, speaks. To, this guy really speaks to me for some reason. Absolutely. There's a list I'm looking at, and this list going to spark some conversation because some well, of these. Well, hold up. Okay. And before we do that, so like, who would you say? Like, do you have like two that you like? Uh no I don't uh, no I, I'm sure I have Mac Miller I fuck with Mac Miller Mac Miller's dope Mac yeah Miller's Mac Miller's dope, dope. who I else I, I don't fuck with Post Malone I, I don't, I'll do, I'm not a, don't even I'm consider not a him a rapper yeah, I don't yeah. consider him a rapper yeah he's just a fucking <laughs> yeah. music or whatever he is a music yeah That's he's correct. a music yeah. he is a music yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about Jack Harlow no, wait mid mid yeah we'll have, I'll 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 stay reserved on him, man. I mean, time I, might like tell. Yeah, like time he's got a tell. little cool charisma or whatever. The first, he might drop some heat on us at some point. He had a string where every song that came out was hard. Um, yeah. Then the album dropped. Yeah. And it was, was like, what is the what in the uh, yeah. trying to do Drake? Yeah, I was gonna say you he just sounded I mean? like a bullshit big Drake is this. Shit. And it was hella weak. But uh I fuck with Action Bronson tough. I fuck with Action Bronson. I love Heavy. Action Bronson. Yeah, Action Bronson is, is uh, the truth. And you know, I'm old, so I fuck with uh third base. Yes, MC Search and them. Yes. They didn't blow up as much because like the Beastie Boys blew up. 
Because they were like the white rap group. Yes, they were. And Third Base was hanging with niggas. Like, Until they, they tried hanging to come like and have them. Remember when Third Base tried well, yeah, to come and yeah, yeah, change everything in the niggas' <laughs> lives? <laughs> he was gonna Real kill. quick, new history on that one. Yeah, allegedly. Ain't, no, ain't no alleged. <laughs> MC Search talks about I'm that shit. I'm saying for legal purposes, <laughs> allegedly that shit happened. Okay, so here comes the end. Add that to the list of text messages from Martin. <laughs> All right, uh, so. Machine Gun Kelly. Nah, I, never I didn't know he was shit. a rapper. Really, I didn't know how to I, classify. Yeah, he's a, one of those fucking rap fast type of rappers or whatever. And you just don't <laughs> be saying nothing and shit. All right, I'm finna make does Machine Gun Kelly <laughs> rap? <laughs> <laughs> well, he did the the rap devil. Where That's he, what it is. He's known for his uh, genre duality across alternative rock. But no, he was definitely a rapper first. I remember. Yeah, yeah he was I, just I, a straight. I, up he's up been MC. around for a while. Yeah. yeah, so he just started doing rock. But all right, I want yeah, I haven't really been. Yeah, it was a, a checking for him. Is that he? He was out. Yellow Wolf was out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's Bubba, Sparks was kind of cold. Bubba Sparks don't get didn't oh, get yeah, no props. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cold. Uh, fucking who'd you say? Yellow Wolf. Yeah, yeah. Yellow Wolf was called. Yellow, Yellow Wolf didn't get enough props. Mixed up and shit. Oh, oh riff rap can't forget about riff rap. <laughs> 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 fucking raps. <laughs> I want to make sure I say this one is gonna have everybody agree that this is a definite negative. Y'all ready? Uh-huh. When I say the name on three, y'all just give it to me. One, two, three. Iggy Azalea. Yeah. All right, yeah. I fuck with it. You fuck with it? Oh yeah! You oh so wow! Fancy? I mean, I don't, I don't be listening to her. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> you just like that. Yeah, you I just ain't, you ain't like to have her fancy around. No or whatever, you, know? you just like have her hang here. Yeah, bro. yeah. I get she, it. Yeah, I, I fuck oh, with her. Oh, here's you. one undeniable. Fucking Paul Wall. Oh yeah, he yes. just types in Paul. Yeah, Wall. Paul yeah. Wall shit is hard. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Pauls, Jesus Christ. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Where's the, like, level, the level of you saying it? And it just sounded crazy. Like, like, oh yeah, Paul Wall shit is hard. Yeah, what was Paul like, Wall's big song? Uh, uh, sitting uh, sitting si- sideways, sitting sideways grills, yeah. and Boys, then grills yeah. with Nelly. Okay. Drive slow with Kanye. Drive yeah, slow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Paul yeah, Wall was yeah, in that Paul 2000 Wall, Houston era, right behind uh, yeah. UGK Slim when Mike Thug, Jones came. Mike Jones. Yep, yeah. that was him. Shit, how many up? I somebody put bad Barbie on this list. Bad baby. I, I, I mean, fuck with bad that baby. Yeah. Gucci flip-flop I was just about to say Gucci flip flops is a Barbie, bob. Bro. What are we talking about, man? <laughs> so shit. I mean, yeah. I get. Damn. It's like <laughs> if you think about it, there have been a lot of white rappers, and yeah. I've been seeing this on uh, Facebook a lot recently. Some people hold Eminem because, of course, we had to say everybody but Eminem. Right. Peep. Some people hold Eminem as one of the goat as the goat over everybody. Sure. And you watch people you disagree, get, hard disagree. Yeah, I definitely disagree. <laughs> but you get people who get mad and says he shouldn't even be on the list because he's white. Nah, that's crazy. No, nah, that that is crazy. I say he shouldn't be on the list because like nobody's playing Eminem songs <laughs> and shit. Like he, this nigga got five songs. Can, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can probably you get away with well, playing it's just, it's shit. It's one of those things, you know right? It's what like, we it don't learned. Fit nobody's occasion. Absolutely. Is it really hip hop if it don't? If you can't, you know what I mean? Well, what what, what did we learn? The rest of hip hop in the Bone Thugs and Harmony. Mm-hmm. Versus three six mafia versus <laughs> what did we learn? Uh, busy bone, weird ass nigga. We all do that. Boo, rest in no, peace. Yeah, you but got a crank. Rest you peace, can't boo. play your melodic. Yeah, you, you know whatever shit. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah shit yeah, you, versus slob on my knob. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, slob because, on my knob gonna win every time. Because yeah, because people call like the lyrical miracle shit real hip hop, but hip hop essentially like somebody <laughs> throwing an instrumental. And then you, somebody just started talking random shit over the instrumental. Here's and shit. my That's thing about that bullshit. Yup, uh, pioneers of hip hop all say the same thing. It started as party music. Yes. yes. To the gang shit was getting out of control, yep. and they were like, "Yo, we gonna throw these parties." So that niggas is dancing and getting all that aggression out at the party rather than fuck each other's shit up. Yeah. And so it's like, if hip hop started as party music, I don't know where this narrative comes from of like, it was always, it always had a message and it was, <laughs> nigga, have you heard Planet Rock? They ain't saying a goddamn thing. Yeah, I think the 90s, yeah. The 90s when niggas started getting super lyrical and it got super competitive. I think that's when they were kind of, and it's room for all of it. Like, I'm the real one, you the, you know. Yeah, and I think it's. And that just became a running theme. It's room for everything, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I I think that's where we may have fucked up. Back in the day, you turn on K-Day, you gonna hear, you know, Public Enemy and- For those who aren't from Los Angeles, what is K-Day? K A was a like the first hip hop radio station out here. Thank you. Yeah, I yeah, my bad. And, but I got the context. You got the context. Right? No, I just want to understand related. for those. You know, I'm just saying. You'd hear a bunch of kind of <laughs> shit. You'd hear Too Short played right before Tribe Called Quest. Okay, you'd that's hear, what's up. You know yeah, what I mean? That's what I'm yeah, just, you'd hear Public Enemy right before a Luke record. You yeah. know what I mean? And it was it was all just hip hop. Now they just play one 
kind of style of hip hop. And that's why people are like, oh, it's getting out of control. It used to mean something. It's still out there. You can find it if you want to. You want yeah, to listen? Yeah, my playlist is full of that yeah, shit yeah, like yeah. that. Kendrick you know Lamar I mean? exists. Yeah, right, right, right. Exactly. You know, you know what I mean? It's. I mean, that's why the loss of Kanye has been so tough for us because he was yeah, the one, was one who yeah. blended like conscious wit slaps. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. And it was like that's the, he. You know, he bridged the gap and shit between you could be a most deaf fan. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And right? a three six mafia fan and all and come together on Kanye, but now it's like, you know, the nigga loves Nazis and shit. Yeah, I miss the old bizarre. Kanye. <laughs> I miss we all miss the old Kanye. I miss yeah. the old Kanye. You don't like when people say that. He doesn't but, like but. that. All right, let's he made get the song. Right. <laughs> Yo, <what'd you> say? <laughs> I said that nigga made the song. This is true. Shit. I thought we might have ran into Kanye last night. We was at a weird ass mansion party bro, last night, bro. Shit, it was crazy because like the joint was supposed to be elegant gala 007 theme you in a suit and all this other shit and i just wore a pair of jeans and a jacket and a, and a polo and a scarf uh -huh. yeah. my man's chris came in in a sweater and some slacks and some shoes hey. but then you saw niggas dress like we dress now sure and i was did. like so what was the dress code <laughs> yeah. because they made it seem like it was an enforced dress code quote unquote right but it was so weird because they had Who's throwing it? Yeah. Who's so it? shouts out to the homies from Neff Vodka. Yeah. Uh, a couple other people. They were doing a nice little event. I I know the homies in Neff through, you know, shit we do with that hashtag show. And when it was a nice little event in a nice real Beverly Hills mansion, I had to ask. I was like, yo, is this rented or somebody's crib? They was like, no, nah, that's somebody's crib. Oh, shit. That's what's up. Why ain't y'all calling me? What happened? Nigga, it was. So, niggas hate me. For, it was, <laughs> yeah, our homies at Neft comped us because it was like a hella like, expensive. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was a hella expensive thing to get to. Right, and I'm so, good yeah, I tried. I was, I was trying to get more, and they was like, nah, nigga, you, <laughs> you come so low or nothing. Yeah, you like, ain't right. bringing no plus ones. I was like, all right, shit. Cool. But, you know, I was disappointed. That it didn't devolve into some uh, eyes wide shut type shit. It, it looked like it was going to eventually. It, uh, it looked like it for a second. It looked like it for a second. Inside of some weird ass dancers and shit showed okay. up. No, she was just high as fuck. That wasn't a weird ass. <laughs> <laughs> that was just one chick that we yeah, knew. Nobody hired her. Bro, we knew her <laughs> ecstasy kicked in at that moment. She Hilarious. was just out of nowhere. And, and not even to like do anything. I've just been curious about the shit. Like, have y'all ever fucked with like sex parties or anything like that? Or would you? Uh, no, but I'm. I mean, not not. <laughs> <laughs> You not said a, no, like you didn't want to admit some shit. No, not like a whole sex party, but yeah. I am trying to become more sex positive or whatever. Okay, you know? all right, all right. And you know, me and my girl, shout out to my girl. You know, we getting more sex positive. Okay, so let me do strange things to her. All right, but shout out to Tom Brown, to as Tom somebody who knows Crip Girl. Shout out, round of applause. You, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. We did some shit. <laughs> yeah, all right. You got too excited. No, because I'm, like, I'm, I'm picking up my man's. That's no, it. That's yeah, all. Yeah. Watch but, y'all fuck one yeah, time. Yeah, so, so yeah, not I wouldn't I wouldn't be comfortable at a whole. A sex party, but like yeah. I would throw like a little sex, you know, kickback or whatever. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> No, like a, a like, set of like five people or something. That's you know? like a sex party, dude. No, you know what I mean, though. Not, Not a like a sex, sex party. banquet, but like a sex, like you, you know, barbecue. You, yeah. I mean, the nigga turned the thing and said, kick back, though. You know, Yo, you know what I'm saying? That's hilarious. It's not a whole, right, nigga, not a whole but a ass, kickback. No, it's not a whole like, ass thing. It's the idea spontaneous. You know? the, the black version of like, I want to shut his own <laughs> sex barbecue. <laughs> sex picnic, nigga. Oh so God, it's a nigga yeah, at the grill ass nigga. With an <laughs> hey, y'all want these links? <laughs> it's like, uh, oh no, nah. nah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's somebody walking the door. Hey, can you put this salmon on the grill real uh -huh. quick? Oh, nah, please, join no. us for the first annual Nan Sex Sex, sex, sex Kickback. <laughs> sex <sex> kick <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Okay, what di differentiates? <laughs> it's just the amount of people, I think. Okay. It's the amount of people. Amount I wouldn't want people. a whole last 30 people okay. sex party. <laughs> All right. So, nigga, yeah, you just don't so. want a big ass orgy. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a teeny orgy. <laughs> yeah, just a little <laughs> lowercase orgy. Yeah, a lowercase orgy. Yeah. Okay, all right. Lowercase orgy. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. What about you, Jay? You a freak, nigga? Man, listen. Yeah, hell yeah. He coming that shit with the wrestling shit on. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Nigga, uh, Kurt was bearing before, like Kurt Angle's hey, music. Here. <laughs> 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 hey, why are you wearing a singlet? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, don't play me. I'd have had Rob Van Dam's music yeah, playing hilarious. with a chick up on some one of a kind. Uh, oh, God. You know, I got friends who were swingers. Yes. And like, we would be at their crib, and I tell a joke about it because it's the truth. My boy got mad when he heard the joke. He was like, You talk this joke? I was like, Yes, nigga. Yeah. They were swingers, and we would be at their crib, and they would tell them we'd all just be hanging out. 
And at like eight o'clock, they'd be like, yo, y'all got to go because we got people coming over. Mm. Because they would have people come over to have a whole big sex thing at the crib. And I was just like, this shit is crazy because (laughs) I don't, it sounds good in theory that, yo, I can just be fucking different chicks in Mm. theory. But then you got to know, unless you feel that certain way, if you polyamorous, yo, my girl going to be fucking different niggas. That's what the thing is. Like, if you obviously like single, a lot of single men, especially are probably thinking like, yeah, that should be amazing. And also you can't go as a single, that's the thing. You can't go as a single dude. Yeah, you can't really. Yeah. Yeah. They don't. Yeah. They'll let single women go, but single dudes cannot go. No, I'm just saying like, (laughs) that makes sense. You know I mean? There's a surplus of single horny dudes ready to go. You're not bringing nothing to the table. That's why you got to have a home girl. You got to bring a girl to the table. You know, you just can play the role for a second yeah, you have and to bring go a girl get pipe, bitch. Useless, I'm gonna yeah. go do what I do. Yeah. You do listen, mm-hmm. you go do what you do. Yeah, I, yeah. When we see each other, high five, bitch. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. So, but you know, but yeah, I don't just for me, it's just like I couldn't, like, if I had my girl, I, I don't know. I'm be yeah. honest. I yeah, I know, not a whole ass. Because you know, I don't want to see, I don't want to be laying side by side. Like, you know, she like, oh, if we gonna do this, we need to be together. And I think I'm putting in work on a bitch, but I hear this bitch make a guttural sound. Yeah. She ain't <laughs> never been <laughs> like, well, I think, you know, I think probably like when I'm like, 50 something maybe my 60s where i'm not hitting it you know what i'm saying right anymore <laughs> i'm not you know what i mean don't, i might don't consider say yourself short baby that's him my, my nigga and blue chew and all kinds of shit i might, I might blue not chew, feel like it you know what i'm saying you know, hey you know the days with viagra don't come to the crib no more i think it's about that time yeah i might get a avatar or something you know what i'm saying who knows man i might take it you bitch you better fucking bitch in an eight foot blue body not like that you know yeah 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 you get a Replacement, you know, who knows? I don't who know. Who knows what's gonna be available yeah, in saying, twenty yeah, years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got real. a whole new lower half. Talking about some <laughs> yeah. right. they already got that shit that you could like make out with the and, kissing it, and it thing. kisses somebody that's like in Japan or some shit. Oh, and it feels already, and it feels just like the yeah. person. Oh, no. You know, our niggas already putting their dick in. Yeah, it. you know, it's a fucking. <laughs> just like it's a dude on the other side of us. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, first of all. It's be so fucked up. You, <laughs> you, you, a nigga got on one side, like him and his girl have a long this relationship, right? Yeah. And she like, yo, kiss the thing good night. And this nigga just put his dick in <laughs> by the lips. Oh, wow. <laughs> so now he, she said that kissing this dick and he don't realize. That's why yeah. I brought this subject up because my friend who may be remaining unnamed is at a sex party this weekend. He's at it's a he's like at this remote getaway thing it's like weird it's like he's in the middle of nowhere he keeps texting me to let me know he's still alive and they ain't sacrificed that's this good, nigga bro. I mean, I'm a good friend so you're, you're, like, you're like the one dude from get out and shit yeah yeah, yeah. Like I'm the TSA nigga yeah yeah, yeah. little shots of Lil Rel but uh, mm-hmm. he told me that they <laughs> they tied him up on, on one night that he was out there and like you know the chicks are coming by all sucking him off okay and then he uh but then he said at one he's enjoying it and he's chilling he had a gag in his mouth and he said he's he's just you know experiencing it and then he said one of the ladies grabbed his shit his meat and was like come here honey and her husband came walking up oh! and it, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, isn't this fucking dick amazing? He said that get. He said no yeah, robe could hold him. <laughs> he broke out of the fucking robe. This nigga turned into the Hulk. <laughs> spit no out the ground. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's like, get the fuck away from my shit. Not Walter. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Shit, bro. He's like, I'm gonna shut down the whole shit. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, nigga, I feel you. That dog. nigga ran out like an Acme cartoon. <laughs> oh no, nah, bro. See, I was gonna say that because I don't want to be I wouldn't enjoy being tied up and bound. Nah, nah, nah. Like, I don't trust not really a, enough. That's not really a thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't think men would I mean, you know, a certain thing. Look, if we that, into what you're into, this is not a gay panic situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that he, you know, as a heterosexual man, didn't not want his Walter! dick. Right. <laughs> didn't want his dick in another man's mouth. Yeah, well he ain't have no control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> no consent, no consent, yeah, no consent. He just, some old dude named Robertson that <laughs> laying down and you just around this motherfucker scrapped on me. And you gagged. And you gagged. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how long has he been out there? Ooh, it's been, he's been out there for like three days. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm like, nigga. He's like, bro, I, when he got there, he was like, bro, I think I'm in over my head. And sure enough, he's been he in over his himself? head. Yeah, he's so That's low. scary, man. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, I don't do that. I mean, thing. he knows somebody there. Okay. But, yeah, but he was still, yeah. He's, yeah this that could be a plan. Having the whole experience. This nigga, this nigga like this. <laughs> <laughs> and That's old hilarious. dude just going at it, but the problem is he like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I need a bus. I need a bus. I can try. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> With a ball 
<laughs> yeah, bro. I don't know. I don't know, man. I think we need to end this motherfucker. <laughs> we still got a few minutes. I just, yeah, I don't know how I would react in those situations. I, I've always been curious about it, though. Yeah, I, yeah, I sort of imagine like him just like he's up there chilling, having a good time, and he can't get out. And as yeah. soon as, yeah, as soon as the guy, he's just like, all right, no, fuck this shit, <laughs> yeah, 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 like you said, yeah, they have a good fucking, time and your eyes turn closed back to tight. Normal and shit. Yeah, no. <laughs> you like this? Mm, yeah, don't. Mm. Shout out to that no, nigga, bro. What's yeah, his name? What's first last name? I can't do that. Get a nigga a pseudonym name. Get a nigga. People no, no, be no, people no. be all in my yeah, <laughs> yeah, right? my followers listen like who, who is that nigga? Get a nigga a fake name. Uh, uh, would you have to pay for that shit or whatever? No, 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 no. no, just, no. It's just, you gotta be sexy. And he's friends. Sexy, sexy, he's sexy, friends with uh, a a woman who is a sugar baby. Okay, but she's also like into like fetish type shit yeah i got it yeah I've been, I've been having a lot of porn stars and random people reach out and start Swear. following me and shit so yeah like yeah shout out to them yeah invite me to some of them secret ass yeah, parties yeah, yeah. no there. doubt shout out to all the porn stars that follow prim we need y'all to come on the show yeah yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. real talk no doubt yeah. i just we'll get it we'll crack, get that do crack. you got a who will win for this week i Is don't it have porn a star who will win, who would win? <laughs> 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 oh nigga that was that's oh, a we beautiful should do that. mr marcus idea, versus wesley pipes and shit mr oh. marcus versus wesley pipes cherokee the ass Versus like Candace Vaughn, nigga. All right, so first of all, Mr. Marcus is fading Wesley Pipes. Bro. You think so? Yeah, Mr. Marcus is fucking smooth, but, but bro. Wesley Pipes clearly been in jail, nigga. He's a street ass nigga. Here's why Wesley like, Pipes gonna pull that nigga bro. hat down because Mr. Marcus is gonna keep that cap on Wesley Pipes. Yeah, Mr. Marcus could be like a suburbs ass nigga. Right, uh, yeah. but it, then again, Mr. Marcus is a trailblazer, man. Yeah, he he's like a, Ray Lewis. And shit. He, like, he invented he fucking in Thames. Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did he? Is that yeah? I think so. Like, the first nigga to fucking Tim's in the baseball cap. Yeah, he popularized least, yeah, it for sure. Because they least. every black porn star from then on out <laughs> don't take their shoes off. That's it's like crazy. that's disrespectful, that's a, Yeah, that was shut up, Mr. Marcus, bro. <laughs> you fucking sheets up, nigga. Yeah, take your Tim's off. We need off. a man award for this nigga, polo man. boots, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, uh, fucking Wesley Pipes is like the E-40 of fucking porn because this nigga's the slang terms yeah, and he, shit is he crazy. He be ruining the videos and shit. Like, uh, not for me. Funny. That shit hilarious <laughs> in the motherfucker, dog. This nigga put, put his hands behind his back while getting his dick stuck talking about, oh, you just gonna go wireless, huh? You just gonna <laughs> fucking <laughs> go wireless? <laughs> My bad, her hands was behind her head. Her back is just like, oh, you just gonna go wireless, go wireless huh? You just nigga. Like, like, what are you talking about? That's hilarious, Ooh. bro. Or this nigga's a poet, man. <laughs> yeah. You Dude. just go go wireless. That shit was crazy, dog. And then uh, there's another one, I think Dion Cole talks about it, where she's like just sloppy with it, and he's like, oh, you just gonna, no table manners, huh? You just gonna. <laughs> 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 you wasn't raised right. It's like God. She were raised right. Yeah, like crazy. Remember, yeah, this nigga said something about take that hot dog dick or something. <laughs> there yeah, used to be a Twitter account, shit. shit Wesley Pipe says, but I think what? they took oh, it. Wow, down. that's hilarious, bro. Yeah, Wait, okay, up. Up. I got it. Back, he about to, you know, we both sitting there Googling Wesley. <laughs> nah, <laughs> don't Google Wesley Pipe. No, Wesley don't, Pipe yeah, saying yeah. I'm on Twitter. On the podcast, please. Oh God. <laughs> don't look at Wesley Pipe videos on the podcast, fellas. I don't like I somebody I the first tweet that comes the first tweet that comes up when you put it in Twitter says, uh, is it me or does Wesley Pipes have the best sayings while he beat Yeah, of course. Nope. Yeah, yeah. Shout All things used to be hilarious. Yo, <laughs> I'ma <a> say <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> Hold on, wait the fuck, because damn, I hate this internet in here. Because I just found a list of all these niggas. Oh, you want to do who wins? No, <laughs> nigga, there's a list of this nigga sayings before we get up out of here. <laughs> but and who will win the fight, though? I'm, I'm still going, taking Mr. Marcus. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking, taking Mr. Marcus. Mr. Marcus yeah. All right. Yeah, I, he probably just if it's just sheer... Strength. I don't know why I'm, I'm imagining these niggas fighting naked. And shit. I don't know why these I niggas. I was too. Here's this I nigga. I was too. Here's this nigga saying oh, though. Pause, <laughs> nigga. Pause, yeah, super pause. Shit. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. These niggas catching fake butt ass. I mean, I don't, I'm not really used to seeing these niggas with clothes. I, I don't know. Pause, if I ever pause, have. pause, pause. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What what I ever these niggas fight squared up, big swinging. Why? Yeah. Yeah. This is some of Wesley Pipes' funniest hell. sayings. Yeah, yeah. Suck this motherfucking dick. You know I like my shit. Wet up like a drive by. <laughs> do, a, do a drive by on this dick. Yeah, there no. you go. This nigga said you a crip or something. Do a you drive cripping by bitch. On the dick, you cripping bitch. <laughs> Let me put my kids in your mouth, bitch. I'm gonna turn your throat into a foster home. Oh, Take no. this. <laughs> we be getting demonetized every video and shit. And I don't understand why. I get it this one. Oh, this one for sure. I definitely get it with this uh, one. This nigga said, damn, I'm all the way in that ass. Don't you shit on my dick. If I oh, strike a nerve, God. you better let me know. <laughs> 
the it's clips strike a nerve. <laughs> the clips on this, like you can't even like, this, make a clip of this segment. I think we, yeah, we clip this. Whoo, this nigga said, <laughs> spit on my motherfucking balls. They should look like two disco balls in a second. <laughs> spit on them. Don't be two shy. Disco balls. This nigga said, don't be shy. You naked with the cameras rolling. Too late to be shy, girl. <laughs> okay, that's real shit. That's just yeah. That's just regular. Did you drop some gems? That's okay. just good advice. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Lo- lo- yeah, loosen up, bitch. It's yeah. already, we already here. Hey, this is the most lousiest nigga saying ever, or probably the realest at the same time. Six say, damn, listen, I'm about to come right in, you bitch. Don't even trip. I know it's early in the game, but this pussy too good to stop. Hey. I'm gonna give you more dick, though. I ain't gonna cheat you. I ain't hey. even gonna cheat you. Hey, that's what's up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna cheat hey, you. Hey, bro. Okay. We, uh, so, a lot of our female viewers are like, they fucking with that no, shit. No, okay. Bro. This thing is start, developed, I'm gonna, look up, I'm gonna start saying I'm gonna look up <laughs> Okay, save some save the quotes. We'll do more. I think going wireless. Every now going and wireless is crazy. Going, going wireless, wireless is amazing. <laughs> amazing. We should do that. We should uh, have. We should, do we should go no, wireless. No, no, no. <laughs> No, nigga. nigga. We should Ooh. we should have a quote, a, a word of wisdom from Wesley Pipes. Every oh, episode. we should quote Wesley. Oh, that's yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. That's like uh, the Wesley Pipes <laughs> word of wisdom of the day. Like they just have deep thoughts on Saturday Night Live every week. We we'll have deep thoughts from Wesley Pipes. That's every what's week. up, bro. Pause. Yeah, we just deep have a new. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, pause for pipes. Yeah, pause for all this. This is a gay ass episode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Pause for Pipes with a new segment every week. Pause I'm into it. Well, I'm ladies into and gentlemen, thank you for listening to episode 13 <laughs> of the Black Boy Content Club podcast. Uh, we appreciate y'all for being here while we were here. Uh, <laughs> uh, shouts out Petty Cash Studios, man. Before we get up out of here, let's tell everybody how they can find us, follow us. But for us, collectively, Black Boy BBC Club Pod. BBC Club Pod on IG. We now have a Facebook page as well. Yeah. Black Boy Content Club. Just search that. You'll get the page. Mr. Burns, you first, bro. Oh, yeah. Find me at Chris underscore please on all the shits. Like I said, just go to my Twitter right now. I'm, I got a goal happening over there. But like Prim says, yeah, we getting demonetized every video <laughs> for the crazy shit that we say. So... If you give us five star reviews on Apple Music, it helps the algorithm fucking pick us up. And then, you know, more people hear it, more people listen, our listenership goes up, our views go up, and then we can get sponsors to take care of this shit since YouTube don't want to give us money for talking about spitting on dicks and shit. They hate us because they ain't us. Yeah. But yeah, follow me on YouTube, Princess Cinema. Y'all probably already watch Princess Cinema. That's the only reason you don't need to say it. No, but uh, shout out to you guys. Uh, Moses Prem on everything else. Um, Living single video. Check me out. All that, man. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Please, TikTok more than anything else just because I need the numbers. You don't only give a fuck about nothing else. Mr. J. Washington, M-R-J-A-Y. You should know how to spell Washington. Mad Titan Podcast. Uh, when there's more shit in the superhero world to talk about, I'll have a new episode. I don't want to just talk about one thing because we all know Shazam sucks. All right, that's that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and that is that. This nigga threw a sneak this at Shazam and shit. Like, at the last, <laughs> at the last <laughs> end of it. I don't want no smoke with you, Shazam, you know? Yeah, 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 for real. Who comes at me or whatever the fuck powers you got. <laughs> yeah. But we will be back. Do we tell him about next week or no? Or, what? or what's up? Oh, yeah, we ain't going to be here next week. So we won't be here next <laughs> week. Y'all will miss an episode, but we'll be back week after that. We got shit to do. Holla at y'all. We out. Be blessed. Bye. Peace.